Making life worth living and retirement with having is about the people in our lives and whether or not they police us or whether or not they lift us up and raise us into a higher vibration, a better place of mind, a more unique ability to use our intellectual skills and a performance emotionally that allows us to be who we are without harm, without rape, without disengagement, without any sort of negativity whatsoever. When I talk like this, I'm coming from a point of having just affirmed that in the last few months, someone has violated my rights, more so than I've talked about before. They have literally deleted 15 years of Japanese language educational materials and papers that I created for teaching the Japanese language off my computer drives, both the original copies and the backups. They have completely deleted hundreds of files of how to write and read and learn the Japanese language, or they stole them illegally, putting them on their computer drives, and are going to try to market them as themselves, which is intellectual property theft. Overall, it's still a cyber crime. It has destroyed my rights to go forward, not at all, but it makes teaching the language for me going forward pretty difficult. There's only four places that this theft, this vandalism could have occurred. One in my mother's home at the independent center on in Fishers called The Reserve. She held my property and my bags and my computers hostage in those moments. Two, at the Indianapolis impound for the police officers, because a police officer literally put in her hands my hard drive bag. I watched her walk away from my car when she was saying she was going to put my car in impound. Any one of her friends or the people in impound could have done so. Three, the people who run or operate the storage unit where my property was stored after situations. I left my suitcase with my little storage units, if you will, my hard drives in it, in my storage unit, locked with two padlocks, which should be enough to keep the law-abiding citizen out. And four, possibly at my sister's home, because I brought those drives to this house in order to look for some materials I need to reproduce my life and do some things for me. And what did I find? Not only all my Japanese language instructional materials completely, utterly, totally deleted off my drives, but every single thing I did in my Blaze Communications LLC business are also completely gone. Every single thing gone. All of my books that I wrote, gone. Things that I did publications wise, gone. Videos, gone. Photography of my family and my Japanese life, gone. Photography of my kanji camp, Japanese language students, and the programs that we did, gone. Everything, totally, utterly, deleted, decimated, gone. This is why practically I hate my siblings, and why I don't like my mother, and why I will never trust a police officer or any law enforcement ever again in this land. Openly, there have been other people in the community who have violated my rights in ruining my food and making purchases for me that I didn't want and then I fall immediately asleep afterwards as if the people at those places have tainted my food with someone's idea of fun and games. But I'm not going to talk about that right now. What I'm saying is in your lifetime, in all the work that you have done in your work, in your world, to have a career, to build a practice, to put food on your table, a roof over your head, and income in your pocket so that you can take care of your family and loved ones and children and other aspects of life. Have you ever, ever had something like this occur to you to know what it feels like? I want you to really think about intellectual property theft and vandalism and cybercrime today. It's more than just cyber hacking our names and ruining our names. It's a total attack and hate crime against the soul and intellectual mind of a human being. It is psychological abuse. It is emotional abuse. It is a physical attack on a product and piece of property that a person owns. And it is totally, utterly illegal, immoral, and illicit. 
Now, this has been practically a reporter and pastor now saying this to you all. Pay attention to the people in your lives and make sure they are worth having near you. Be careful with what you say literally in your words and deeds in front of others because they can take what you say and just do it for the little fun of doing so. We have a force in the land that thinks they have rights over others, but they literally have been violating federal law in every step and every turn of their practice, professional practice, not to mention international human rights laws and civil laws. We need new presidencies very soon to take care of us to protect what the amendments of our U.S. Constitution say we deserve, which is the right to safety in our personhood, paperwork, and property, which is what this land was founded upon. My name is Blake Ensign, B.J. Ensign, lawfully at this time. My company is Blaze Communications, LLC. My program was Kanji Camp Japanese Language Program, which I no longer have a website for, which also had backup files on it. And frankly, I doubt that Do GoDaddy gives a rat's ass, but in truth, their marketing team never responded to me when I reached out to them. And all of my work, my entire life's work and career's property have been destroyed. Thanks for listening.